Bring down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 best investments for the rest of 2020. I made a similar video to this a little while back about the best investments upcoming for 2020, but so far things have changed, especially with the Shattered Web operation ending, and so we have to update the list of course. And now before we get into this video, let's take a quick look at swap.gg. So as you may be able to tell, this video is in fact sponsored by Swap.gg, and I don't actually take sponsorships unless I truly believe in the product that I'm sponsoring. There are actually sponsorships that I have denied simply because I don't believe in their product. But Swap.gg is different, of course. I do believe in them. I think they're actually a really great trade bot and also a great marketplace. So if you want to go ahead and use my link in the description below, that would really help me out a lot, and it would also, of course, support the channel. And of course, Swap.gg is a great place to go and buy investments that I talk about in this video because not only, of course, are you supporting me, but you're also getting these investments at good discounts. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this video, and I hope you guys go show Swap.gg some love. Beginning, of course, with the number 5 spot on our list, we have the Coverts and Pinks from the Shattered Web Operation. So as we all know, the Shattered Web Operation has now come to a close, which means that these items are going to be a lot less obtainable. They are now only obtainable through trade-ups, and are no longer tradable through the Battle Pass, which cuts off a major portion of their supply. Now, these items are also only going to get more expensive as people do more trade-ups for them, because the trade-up inputs are going to be taken off the market, and therefore the items are going to rise in price. Another great factor for the success of these items is of course the fact that they look really really good. The Gungnir for example is one of the best looking ops we've had in a long time and in a lot of people's eyes is better than the Dragon Lord. All I think that really needs to happen is a more widespread usage of the Gungnir which could cause the price to go up because of people obviously seeing more important people using it and coincidentally enough we actually have a really good opportunity for this to happen at the upcoming Rio Major. Now obviously it's pushed back due to coronavirus but there is going to be a lot of pro players at that Major that are in the spot light for a lot of those esports players. And with that being said, that also means that these people are going to be using some of these new covert items from this operation, which of course includes the Gungnir. Now if we compare the prices of these types of items to something like the Dragon Lord, we actually see that the Dragon Lord has very recently risen in price quite a lot. Now, because these items are going to be more expensive than the Dragon Lore on average, they are of course going to be harder for investors to obtain, but they are going to be better income, of course, from the investment alone. So the price of these items, coupled with the fact that they look really good, and of course coupled with the fact that there's an upcoming Rio Major where the hype for these items could go up quite a lot, is all very good reasons for why I think these are going to be a great investment for the end of 2020, and of course moving into the further years. The other nice thing about these items is that they're so expensive and so rare that you can actually hold on to these past 2020 and continue to make some profit. Now I also mentioned the pinks and these are actually going to be pretty good investments as well because they're going to have a pretty solid linear trend with the price of the coverts as they are the only way to obtain them which is of course trade-ups. Now if you look at previous operation trade-ups and the previous operation trade-up input prices they are actually pretty trend worthy with the items that they are going up to. So that's going to close off the number 5 spot on our list, the coverts and pinks from the latest operation. And moving on to the number 4 spot on our list we actually have something pretty interesting that has been in the spotlight very recently and that's going to be cases. So cases in general are going to be good investments simply because they are pretty much the longest term and safest term investments that you can make. Cases are of course only going to get rarer with time because they are going to be moved into rarer drop pools, which of course is going to increase their price as time goes on. Meaning that the cases are not only a very safe investment, but also a pretty solid one because you can make pretty good money off of them considering how cheap they are to start off. To be honest, there's not a whole lot to say about cases, they just simply do well because they are getting rarer as time goes on. Now obviously you don't want to invest in very brand new cases such as the Prisma 2 case because that one isn't going to have a bottleneck on its supply anytime soon. You want to go ahead and invest in the older the case. Of course, the older the case that you invest in, the better you're going to have it with regards to profit. Also look for cases that have generally lower supply than other cases because these ones are going to be more prone to rising as they are, of course, going to be harder to obtain. Just keep in mind the general case rule, which is that the older case you buy, the more profit you're going to make in the short term, and the newer the case you buy, the less profit you're going to make in the short term. So hopefully for 
for those people that don't have as much money to invest in the number five spot on this list, maybe you guys can invest in the number four spot on this list because cases are pretty cheap. The cheaper you buy and the longer you hold on to them, the more money you'll make. Now moving on to the number three spot on this list, this is actually going to be a pretty general thing, but it is going to be a pretty good idea to look into as well. Now this is going to concern both the M4A4 and the M4A1S. So there's different reasons for both of these being good investments, but let's start with the M4A4. So as we all know, the M4A4 has not had a recent skin release in pretty much any form, except for, of course, the M4A4 Dark Blossom, which I briefly mentioned in my previous video, just because it's not really that great of an M4A4 skin, and doesn't really hold up to the height. Now when it comes to things like this, obviously with the M4A4 being such a popular weapon in-game, the less skin releases that happen for this item, the more the older skin releases for it are going to go up. For example, I actually had someone comment on one of my recent videos about the M4A4 Evil Daimyo, which has actually risen quite a lot since its previous year. As for which M4A4 you should buy, I wouldn't really recommend any in particular, but obviously go for the rarer ones and the older ones because those ones are going to make you more profit as they are of course going to be rare overall. Luckily there's a lot of cheap M4A4s and expensive M4A4s so it suits all types of investors. Now as for the M4A1S, the reason I bring this up is because there is the potential of this getting a buff in the future which could cause more people to use it. So obviously the usability of a weapon does contribute quite a lot to its price. As you see with the AK-47s, those are going to be a very solid item to keep just because they are going to be very usable in game and don't really need a nerf anytime soon. As we know the M4A1S is a very unpopular weapon, in fact in pro play pretty much nobody uses the M4A1S at any time and everybody pretty much prefers the M4A4. This is one of those items that you kind of just have to take a shot in the dark and say hey well it's going to be an item that a lot of people may use if the buff for it actually happens successfully so maybe it's a good item to buy into just as a short sort of side investment just in case that does happen. Now the reason I bring up the M4A1S is not really because I'm recommending it so much as a current investment, we don't really know what's going to happen with the future of them, and we don't know what's going to happen with the buffs that it could receive, and if it does of course receive buffs in the first place. Obviously I don't work for the Valve Balance team, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I do think that it's something you can maybe buy as a sort of side investment just with some extra money. It's just a factor that I want some of you to consider just in case you're thinking about it. Now with the number 3 spot on our list being done, let's go ahead and move on to the number 2 spot, which is going to be the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr. So as we all know, this is going to be an item that is pretty controversial in terms of the investing community. A lot of people think that the item has failed as an investment already simply because it has a lower price. Obviously for the more intelligent people of the community, we know that this is just because of panic sellers that think just because they didn't get short term profit they're going to sell off the items and decrease their price. For those of us that are holding onto the items, we're going to make a lot more money though, and here's why. Not only does the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr remain the only green deagle in the game, but it's also a very rare one that has a supply bottleneck from the recent operation. This is going to factor into both its popularity and its investment potential because obviously an item with less quantity is going to be a better investment for the long term. Out of all Jormungandr skins currently in the game from the Norse collection, the green deagle of course does look the best and does have the brightest colors in game, and I've actually used this quite a lot as well in game and I do think it looks really really good and it's worth the hype. Also it's at a pretty low price right now simply because of the panic sellers, so it's a good time to pick it up. Just keep in mind that there's a lot of panic selling happening with the operation right now, so buying into these items is going to maybe be a good idea a little bit into the future as we wait for these panic sellers to dump off their stock. Now, as we close off this number two spot, I also wanted to briefly take a quick mention at some of the other items from the operation that were concerned with the, you know, sort of lower priced area. So for example, we have the AK-47 Baroque Purple. Now this is still going to be a good investment, but it's one of those longer term ones simply because it's a pretty cheap thing that a lot of people bought into. So we're going to have to wait a longer term time for these items to decrease in quantity enough to be a good investment in terms of their price. As for the Augmented Lily, I think this is also still going to be something that's good to buy into right now because of the panic sellers, but it's also going to be a good item going forward because of course the AUG is still a very popular weapon in CSGO and the Minette Lily is one of the most unique skins for it. And it of course also changes color when you're moving it around in game, unlike the MAC-10 discotheque. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the number one spot on our list. As for the number one spot on our list, you may or may not have guessed it, but it's going to be consumables from the Shattered Web Operation. So the Shattered Web Operation has a few different types of consumables. This includes graffitis, cases, and also stickers. And of course, at the king of all these is going to be the Gold Web Foil. I think that overall the Gold Web Foil is going to be the best item to buy right now, simply because not only does it look really good, but it also has a pretty good scratch pattern, which is going to incentivize a lot of people to buy it and use it as actual gun stickers. This of course decreases the quantity of the unapplied ones, which means that buying the unapplied ones could really turn you a lot of money in the future. I would also recommend something like the Webstuck Hollow. This is an item that also has a pretty good scratch pattern and in tandem with the Gold Web Foil is a good item for people to apply to their weapons. Luckily these are both items that are also pretty cheap due to panic sellers right now, so it is a good time to buy. Furthermore of course we also have the Shattered Web Cases. Now Shattered Web Cases are not only a great investment simply because they are bottlenecked by the operation, but they're also of course lowered 
covered by the Panic Sellers, as I said previously on this list. Now, Shadow Rub cases are going to be pretty good as for what we know now. We do know one thing about the Shadow Rub case that is important, and that's the fact that there was a new set of knives released with the Shadow Rub case. This, of course, means that these knives could be released in a future case at some point, simply because it's a little bit weird for Valve to completely discontinue the Shadow Rub case overall and not give it a second thoughts and not release knives in the future. But as for what we know right now, the Shadow Rub case is in fact discontinued and put into the rare drop pool, which means that it's going to be a lot harder to get this item, and of course, it's going to have a pretty bottleneck supply, which is only going to increase its price. So that's all for this list guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video below to show your support and help me with that YouTube algorithm of course. And of course be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest investment tips all across YouTube. And if you are interested in using my swap.gg link, it is in the description below. That would really help out the channel quite a lot and would help fund future videos. You can also buy the items I listed on this list on swap.gg's marketplace or tradebot, which is also a pretty good idea simply because they have great discounts. And of course if you want to go ahead and check out our Discord and Twitter. Those are going to be in the description below as well, and you can go ahead and chat with me on there pretty easily. So if you want to get in contact with me, that's a good place to do it. Anyway guys, thank you again for taking time out of your day to come check out this video, and I wish you luck with all your investments. I'll see you all next time. Peace.